This young man can carry the load for you offensively, and he can do it all night. And Jordan throws it down. You know, once he was in the air, he was staying in the air. Incredible move that time. All right, Utah's up by one, trying to force a finals game seven. Stockton's got the ball, coach. And we know Utah loves to go to either pick and rolls or post Carl Malone. Kerr's on him. Malone trying to get free. Rodman on him. Oh, and Jordan steals the ball. That's his great awareness by Michael Jordan. Came from the backside and took it right out of his hands. Coach, what do you think they're going to run here? I doubt if Jordan's given up this ball. It's showtime for Michael Jordan. He attacks a little off with the left hand. It's good! It's good! Chicago's got the lead! He drove it, froze him, and posed on it. It's the master versus the apprentice. Supposedly, Jordan wasn't a three-point shooter. How about six in the first half? Brutal foul! Remarkable finish by MJ! Are you kidding me from the foul line? Well, for Michael Jordan, just a couple blocks away from the famed Superdome. And they'll fill every seat for the big one tonight. Fans, welcome to the college championship game. Today's matchup, the Georgetown Hoyers and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Yeah, I agree. In the Hoyas' backcourt, Sleepy Floyd and Roy Duncan with John Nash and Harold McCray at the forward. And star Pat Ewing is the five. For UNC, it's Adam Barnett and Michael Jordan at the guard spots. At forward, Craig Bacon and All-American James Worthy. And Sam Perkins is the center. These schools' talented freshmen, they will have a lot to say about who wins tonight. And the shot is good. That's what you want to end up just with tonight. Kevin? Well, indeed. Thank you, DA. This is the first title game in a dome in 11 years. Clark and Mike, as we know, two big rule differences between the college and NBA game. No three-point line in NCAA basketball. And Clark, no shot clock as well. Yeah, I think those rules, Kevin, favor teams that focus on the inside play. Guys like Pat Ewing. It also rewards those teams that are patient. Teams like UNC, who are prone to play a delay game at times. And Michael Jordan is in the double figure. The freshman wants the spotlight. You can tell. Who goes up and Jordan makes a statement. And the Hoyas call time here. Good time out right there. It was much needed. Yeah, the other team is clicking right now. Coach wants to try and halt this run. He can do so much damage from the line. The defense has to be more careful around him. To the wing on the left. Here's Floyd. Back to Nash. Duncan outside. Kicks it to Nash. Pass to Green.
A very patient possession. They're in no hurry. Back to Nash. Poked away. Well, this UNC team, they're known for their delay game. Without a shot clock, they'll hold the ball late, which in turn will shorten the games. And you know, Mike, that style's worked extremely well for them this season. North Carolina has won. La Jolla shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Two shots. Bailey is shooting in for the Hoyas. Duncan hits them both. Tar Heels leading by 10. Here's Jordan. And Jordan has gotten to 16, passing his season average. In this huge game, Langley down to just eight points on the bucket from Ewing. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan, what a leaper. Flying high, Jordan levitates. Assist goes to Wayne Adams. And you know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. The drive by Jordan. Explosive on the bounce. Michael Jordan. No question, Jordan has found an offensive flow here. Not easily done as a freshman in a championship game. In the battle of star freshmen. And we've been watching all night, Mike. Scoring-wise, Michael Jordan getting the better of Pat Ewing. Jordan has raised the level of his game in this NCAA tournament final. Michael living up to the hype this far. Indeed he is. The way Jordan flies through the air. It's not like other guys. He's still going up when others are coming down. Well, Gastonia, North Carolina, a small town of less than 50,000 people, features two stars in tonight's title game. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Now, James Worthy of North Carolina and Sleepy Floyd of Georgetown both hail from Gastonia. Well, they grew up going to church together, they went to rival high schools. Despite James being highly recruited and Floyd going under the radar, it was Sleepy's Hunter Hess High that got the better of James's Ashbrook in the 1977 state title game. David, that is a great story and very interesting. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike, they say Gastonia, North Carolina, pretty much shut down tonight, all glued to the game. You are correct. <laughs> Everyone in that town is watching this game. Here's Bailey, guarded by Jordan. Here's Davis. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Good if it goes. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. Michael Jordan getting it done for the Tar Heel. A terrific quarter for him. And now he has a total of 27 points. Shouldn't take him long to get up over 30. We come back right after this with the second half. With Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Coming to you live from New Orleans, North Carolina, and Georgetown. Tonight, we'll crown a champion. During this year's NCAA tournament, North Carolina is shooting over 75% in second half. Some tremendous post-halftime play. Michael Jordan is up there with Barnett. Then there's Bacon. And it's Perkins. If you will. They're looking for the best shot, and they wait for the right shot. The experience of James Worthy, I think, helps them with that as well. Helps them a lot. The kick out to Worthy. Passes to Barnett. Back to Worthy. Extra emphasis for Worthy looking to avenge that title loss last year. North Carolina freshman Michael Jordan. Fantastic, Mike. And the shot no good from McCray. And Worthy has got it here for North Carolina. Jordan with the bucket. Mike, for each school, a chance to make some history tonight. Georgetown looking for their first national title. UNC, they haven't won it all in 25 years. Here's McCray. Buries it down low. And Ewing now top of the key. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. This young man can carry the load for you offensively. And he can do it all night. And Jordan throws it down. You know, once he was in the air, he was staying in the air. Incredible move that time. Duncan outside. Pass to four. 
Nash outside. Pass to Ewing. The fader. Again, Georgetown. Born in Washington, D.C. Showing you good discretion with his shot. Georgetown trying to get their first national title. This is a program that missed the NCAAs for 32 straight years. Just their second ever appearance in the Final Four. And it's Perkins in the corner. Down low. Worthy outside. Perkins trying to break loose. This entire tournament, North Carolina has been outstanding executing in the second half. Vision on the floor. Creating for his guy with a spot on lead pass. Jordan. Banked in off the glass. Jordan's got 46 points. 152 left in the second half of basketball. Floyd passes to Ewing. Over Perkins. A nice shot by Ewing. Ewing's got 16 here in the second half. A rare jumper for Ewing. Pat normally operates within five feet. Here's Jordan. Worthy trying to break free. Jordan's shot is off. The Hoy is trailed by six. Here's Floyd. Duncan, the pass to four. Perkins against Ewing. And Ewing brings it in. The freshman Pat Ewing with a huge shot. Delivering down the stretch in the biggest game of his life thus far. A shot by Jordan, no good. On offense, here are the Hoyas. A baseline J. Offensive rebound. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. These are huge shots. We'll see if Ewing can hold up. He hits the first one, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Both free throws good from you. When the game is tight, he is the guy who they want at the strike. Someone who consistently makes his free throws. Second chance shot. Here's Perkins. Back to Jordan. Goes back up. Tipped away. It's stolen by Duncan. Ewing gets a wide open look. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And coach a foul here. Ewing it looked to be an intentional foul. I'm not really sure why he did that. Maybe a miscommunication. And so they foul intentionally. Second personal foul. Second team foul. 30 seconds left in the second half of basketball, and so they choose to intentionally foul. Personal foul. Third team foul. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the second half. Well, Ewing is the centerpiece of an intimidating Hoya defense. He's got excellent presence on this end. That's tipped. Pass to Floyd. Back to Ewing. Shoots over Jordan. It falls! A huge shot to tie it up. Look, we know him as Georgetown's leading scorer, but Floyd, also a talented playmaker. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. National title game. Georgetown and UNC going for the extra period. <laughs> the dome here in New Orleans is rocking. It's a memorable night with more to come. Guys, national title game overtime. You can Michael feel the tension Jordan. here in New Orleans. Assisted Tons of pressure on these teams. James Huge Jordan. at this point in the game for Jordan. Take a look at the Tar Heels. Were they out there with Bacon? Then it's Jordan. Then it's Barnett. And it's Perkins in at the five spot. Nash outside. The 11-footer. 
Here's Ewing. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Ewing's got 40 points. Just over a minute and a half played here in overtime. Here's Floyd. There's the dish to Ewing. And he lays it straight in. Ewing's got 42 in the game. Got it in close, and that just about always helps. Tar Heels trail by four. Jordan inside. And the layup's good off the glass. You would never know Jordan is a freshman. Three left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. And here are the Hoyas now. Here's Foy. Pass to Ewing. And stolen by Jordan. Barnett passes to Perkins. Here's Jordan. It's hauled in by the Hoyas. Now Nash. Here's Green. Help! Now trying to lay it off. Fearlessly stepping into that big shot. Wow. Beautiful. That takes real guts. I think this whole arena was holding his breath. The Hoyas with the steal. They racked up a few of those already. And they go to the intentional foul. Second personal foul. First team foul. And he commits the intentional foul. Sam Perkins. Third personal foul. Second team foul. And here are the Hoyas now. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First personal foul. Third team foul. And the Hoyas call time here. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Perkins trying to break loose. Got it. And he has brought them to within two points. Playing OT and this battle continuing. And now we've got the intentional foul. Adam Barnett. Second personal foul. And so the first one is good. He'll stay at the line for one more try. This might be the most important trip to the line in Floyd's career. Georgetown, all-time leading scorer. Here's Jordan. Money! Went up with both hands to finish off that play. I can feel it, Clark. You can feel it. He didn't fight from the power he had on that slam. There's something you had to feel to believe. Anytime you let him get space like that, it's always ending in a dunk. At the line for two. Jordan against Duncan. Count it! Getting the shot to go despite the contact. That's a tough move by Jordan. Here's Floyd. Here's Ewing. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And the North Carolina Tar Heels are national champions. What a season. 32-2. and two. Now a national title to make it complete. James Worthy, Michael Jordan, Sam Perkins. It was a blend of youth and experience for UNC. And for the Hoyas Club.